Okay, so I am heading to the barn. It is a cloudy, overcast Sunday, but it's not cold yet, even though I know it's going to get cold in the very near future. And I have to say, I am completely overwhelmed. So overwhelmed. I have a million, billion events that I'm planning and orchestrating and it just always feels like every time I turn around, there's something else that I need to take care of for somebody or there's an oversight or it's just that everything that I'm trying to do lately is just falling on my shoulders fully and completely and that I don't have any space for myself. And anytime I do get any space for myself lately, I have been in this complete trap of just trying to zone out on my phone because I am so overwhelmed. I just want to turn my brain off and do absolutely nothing. And that's not good either because that means I'm not practicing my self-care routines and really continuing that practice to feel better. So I just told Rob, who just got back from having his personal time that he needed for himself, I told him, listen, I'm going to the barn. I'm going for an hour max because I have to get back to get dressed to go to an art opening that I'm curating, which I want to do. But again, I'm just feeling so completely overwhelmed that I need my own break today and I'm taking it at the barn. So it's going to be a quick visit, which is always challenging. It's hard for me to get into the barn, get him tacked up, groomed up, and then, you know, in the right headspace to do anything. So I am hopeful that everything will go smoothly and he will be great and ready to go. Although I make no promises to myself that it will go that way. I just know that any time that I spend with him and with my horse Caspian is a million times better than any other time I spend doing pretty much anything else. So I am hopeful that I will heal and feel a lot better so that I can approach the rest of my day with some lightheartedness, knowing that I took the time I needed for me. Hi, you wanna come out and play? walk around, hang out outside. You got hay in your hair. Good boy. Oh, oh, oh. Let's pick your feet. Look at that yawn, huh? You're sleepy. Yeah, you're cute. I know, this is super loose. Let's fix it. What are you doing? Are 
You're cute. What, what, what? What? So normally I would start with a lunge, but today we are short on time, so we're just gonna do a quick walk, and this isn't even on right, it slipped off of him but it seems to still do the job even if it slips. Probably needs to be tightened. And then this is barely holding on. So I'm going to just give him a walk around the ring so that he releases any air. Handsome, good looking. No, I don't look so sad. What's the matter? He's so good under saddle, like so, so good. I don't think he's ever caused me any real issue. He's never done anything, he's just super sweet. He knows it's work, so we'll just go for a walk. Smell it too. Good boy. And there's something new, I let him check it out. And it looks like they are getting ready for a hay ride. So we're gonna do our laps and then we're gonna go out. I noticed that the owner is mowing the lawn, so I want to be aware of that because he doesn't like, Caspian doesn't like big machines and things like that. So we're going to take our warm up and then we're going to go out on the trail. You're all right. You're okay. Good boy. Very good. So that was his spook. 
a lot going on today. He's not a big fan of the machines here. And that was Little Smokies. Stormy, that's Stormy. Little Stormy, spooked. You're okay, Cass. See the girls? Come on. Let's go have a nice time. I feel like we got out here so fast. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock because normally we take a while getting ready. But you know what? It's good for him because it's telling him like, okay, sometimes things will be different even though our routine is usually just about the same every single time. And it's good to expect things. boy. And this is where he normally gives me a hard time. We'll see if that happens again today. Yep. Good boy. A lot faster. A lot faster. He's pooping. He likes pooping down here. <laughs> Good boy. Little refusal. Doesn't like these rocks. Not a big fan. He does have front shoes, so he has a bit of protection. But we're focusing on new growth of the hoof because he was very tender footed when I got him and it's only been like three or four months of good farrier and good feed so you know we're working it out and I'm very gentle and let him rest plenty. Good boy. You can tell a bunch of horses went through because there's a lot of poop on the ground. Good 
Fisch rein. And we're going to halt. Good boy. And do a time check. Good boy. Right through that mud, no problem. Really happy to see that. And he tripped last time right up here, so I'm going to wait until I get out of this footing. And I'm just scanning the field it's for people or vehicles or anything, and I don't see anything. <laughs> I did ask for that canter, but he said no. <laughs> So we can probably do, I don't know, we might be able to do the whole thing. I have 40 minutes until I need to have him untacked and back in his stall. And then we're coming back for a party later, which is a secret surprise party for the barn manager. So I'll be back later after my art opening. Oh, I don't want to think about things. Let's see how this goes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Then you'll notice the refusals are getting shorter. A little bit more explosive on that one, but he realized it and settled down. Looks like some of the water dried up. Still taking the same path he always takes. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. He's very aware of this horse, so I'm just watching his ears, watching his eyes. Beautiful butterflies in this field. Yeah. Good boy. He has a, a little pep in his step today, which is nice because he was pretty tired when we first started.
So there's water to cross here. I don't know how that's going to go. If he refuses, 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 I'll just turn around. But if he does good, then we'll just go and do our loop. And that'll be it for the day. Something's got his attention over there. Good boy. Good boy. See, here's the water. There's water. Dead stop. We're in the weeds. Good boy. You can do it. Look, go around it. You gonna go in it? Hmm? You gonna go in it? What do you think? Check it out. Good boy. Go ahead. Just checking things out. He doesn't know how deep it is. It could be bottomless for all he knows. Good boy. So I love how he approached that and how we dealt with that together. That was great for him. A cool pond. Looks like a bog. There's some ducks in it today. And some cattails. That's really cool. So this is a lot of hills for him and he's a little wheezy. I'm not gonna ask for anything big. I just wanted to see earlier if he was gonna pick up the canter on his own or if it was gonna be a whole thing. He's not motivated to do so and that's him listening to his body. A lot of hunting stands out here. So we might trot up this little hill, which goes around like that. But other than that, we're not gonna we're not gonna be cantering up anything big today. Just gorgeous. Good boy, that was great. I might walk him up this hill and see how we do. I'm not gonna ask for anything much. There's a really big hill here. He refused this hill totally last time we were out this way. So I just want him to walk it. And it's gonna be so good for him and his muscle development and his lung capacity and just everything. So we are gonna try to walk it. I'm not gonna ask for anything too big. If he picks up his own trot, that's beautiful. It's fine. He's smart. He's going to remember he was this last time. Good boy. He's going. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you strong wrong and brave. So this is new, right? Because we haven't been here. Oh, man. 
for him. But I think it's a very clear path, like very, very clear. And I'm really leaning forward. I'm getting him out of his head here. Let him take it at his pace. Good boy. Ooh, I think I know where this into the woods goes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, look what we found. We're not doing that today. <laughs> and then this hill goes down. So this is going to engage his back end. So I'm going to lean way back and then let his haunches kind of take the weight. So he's engaging here, which is going to be pretty big for him. I'm telling him to take it slow and take it easy. Good. Oh, this is a lot of work. This is hard work. I don't want him to trot it. I want him to take it nice and slow. Work on his balance. Engage, engage, engage. I got his head. Good boy. And I'm leaving way, way back. Way, way back. Good boy. This is hard. This is hard work. Good boy. Really encouraging right now. Very gentle, not putting any leg on him at all. Just supporting his head by lifting up gently. Just giving him good contact. Good. That's hard work, I know. Yeah. So even though it's slow, this is work for him. You can think about yourself, like going up an incline and then going down. You're working all those different parts of your body. Oh, gorgeous. And then we will pick up a truck here eventually, but right now we're still in the hill. Good. And then he's going to get a little breath here, a little relaxation as we're in the flat. And then there's a big puddle there, so I'm just going to wait until that's not there. And then he knows this path pretty good now. Probably won't pick up a canter unless anybody else is around. Sometimes he'll pick it up on that big hill as we exit. But, and then I'm going to halt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good boy. Good boy. That's so good for him, too. 46, we got some time. You're doing so, so good. He checks me out. What you doing, Mom? <laughs> so we'll wait until we come around this little bend. Rob was so funny because he saw some of this footage and he goes, Wait, they can do bends at a trot and a canter? I said, yeah, how do you think uh, barrel racing happens or anything else we do? <laughs> so yeah, they can uh, they can do all sorts of patterns at a trot. Must be much bigger at a canter though, because you don't want anybody getting hurt or sliding or falling or bending in a weird way. But yeah, they're athletic, you know, horses, super athletic. No deer today, not yet at least. Not the right time of day. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. boy. Little cough. Little cough. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Maybe burp. <laughs> I'm going to take a little trot up here.
his transitions are phenomenal. He's so good. I think he enjoys some of this trail. Like back there where he picked up his canter. We picked that up with the group that first time we came out here. So I think that he remembers that. He's insanely smart. He's incredibly, incredibly smart. So he remembers things like how to get across certain paths. He'll take the same way each time. You know, we continue to have very learnable moments where he'll just pick something up real quick. So I've heard that up this, if I was to take him up this hill, that it's nothing but mud at the top. So we don't do that because I don't want him falling and sliding. And this is gorgeous, but all downhill. So I don't like to trot this too much. We'll probably trot until like the end there. Yeah, good boy. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. He probably would have taken the whole thing, but again, I just don't want him to slide. It's so pretty. Yeah, you good boy. Can we not be off the trail though? <laughs> good boy. Rob says that I should get two cameras, one for my helmet and one for my chest. If you think I should, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. And I will absolutely try to make that happen. I have a, a few GoPros, so I can strap them pretty much anywhere. And he knows that too, like he's not even trying right now to pick up anything or do anything. He knows we wait. Very good boy. That was all-star effort, buddy. That was so good. That was so good. And no cough, which I love. Good boy. Good boy, Cass. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Good boy. Yeah, it's just a squirrel or something. We are doing so, so good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him up here, actually. No, we're gonna go between these trees. We're good. We got it. Clean the piece. You got it. Asking for something different, asking for something hard. Don't, don't go backwards, you're gonna tumble. Good boy! Good boy, you did it! Good boy! That was it. Something different makes him stop and think. Plus that hill is like wicked. This is a trail. I have not been on that yet. Maybe sometime soon we'll go there.
Good boy. So this machine he didn't like last time. Oh, look, there's a four-wheeler. So we get a whole new experience in a car. He'll probably remember, but we'll work through it just like we have. Good. And I caught it. I caught him right when he had a moment of hesitation. Good boy. And I told him, move on. And he is. Good. So this also leads us all the way back. Yep, you're okay. A little, little bit of a, like a leaf fell or something. So he started. We don't walk on the pavement. Pavement is slippery. It's beautiful. The leaves are starting to fall. Everything's going to get a lot of nice color on it very soon. lot of hills here which are going to make him super developed and strong they're also kind of fun so good for him leaning way way back engaging that hind end good nice and secure watch the leaves he's also spooked on me before when my hand hit leaves so I'm just making sure we're always aware and we're just gonna take the shortcut back Ooh, yep that's Tashley it's okay sorry she's bright pink you see her out of a million miles away for some sort of hay ride. You can see he's checking everything out. Good boy. Good boy. I'm trying to get ahead of it before he refuses. It's just working out real nice. I don't think we can fit through there, Cass. That's tight. Oh, we can go up though. Good boy. Nope, don't back up. Good boy. Nope, it's just Chino. I know he's very scary. He feeds you though, so. Victory! He's like, we don't end here, we end here. Where are you going? Ooh. Ooh. Where are you going? He don't know. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Ooh. 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 
good boy. A really good test without any any reins. He's a good boy. dropping stuff, huh? There we go. Oh my god, I dropped it twice. My goodness, what am I doing, huh? What am I doing? So truly. Let's go. Thank you. He is a big drooler. It's like his favorite thing. You did so good, buddy. You did fantastic, in fact. That was some A-plus effort. We didn't really do anything yesterday. We just came here and I gave him some... Oh, did we do anything yesterday? No, we didn't even do anything yesterday. The day before, he got some free grazing and some hand grazing. Okay, we're going to take off his tack and brush him down. <laughs> That's so cool. It looks so good out there. Was he? Oh, he was fantastic. Good. Fan fantastic. Yep. Good. So good. What time are you guys coming on We are, so we have the opening until 6. Okay. And then 6 30? Probably. Oh, perfect. That works great. So Look at that good old baby boy. Look at you in your butt. Look at you in your butt. Hmm? What's that? A brush. You should go boy. So when we got Cass, he was a little on the thin side, but, oh, his favorite scratchy spot. This is favorite scratchy spot. So here's the thing, even though I didn't have a ton of time today, I still made time for this and made sure it was a priority. And the other thing is that I always make sure he comes first. So, you know, making sure he's groomed, I'm checking his feet for any stones or anything like that. And then I'm trying to give him a nice experience too because he's taking care of me, so I'm going to take care of him. Right? Right. Oh, shoot. I think the conditioner I just bought him is in the car. It's in the car. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's yawning. Isn't he funny? He's so tired. 
You started tired. You aren't awake? Hmm? <laughs> it was a lot of work for you. I know. Oh my god. You want some cookies? Let's put this back on him. Cookies. Hold on. Lick. Good boy. So gentle. So gentle. He's so good. So gentle. I'm sorry, you're going back in here for now. You can lick your salt lick though. Yeah, you can do that. All right, sweetheart, I'll be back later, okay? Okay, my baby, okay. Okay. Don't nibble. Don't nibble on me. Okay. Okay. I know. Parting is such sweet sorrow. I'll be back. So, you remember how full of do not want I was earlier before going to the barn? Totally revitalized. Hello, world. I'm able to function now. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. And then I just heard that we are going to be setting up some sort of photo shoot with our horses in the near future. And I am really excited about that. Caspian is gorgeous and it just started raining. So I just did that entire trail. We had a fantastic time. Caspian was a trooper, A plus all the way around for him. He's learning, he's growing. It's uh, consistency. You really gotta be consistent with it and then also give him time to think. He's a type of horse that just needs a lot of time to just understand things. And then once he has it, he has it. And it's actually really amazing. So now I am ready to do the art opening. I don't know if I have time to get changed or not, but I will be uh, either rocking cowgirl stuff or possibly just smelling like a cowgirl. So Rob and I are heading over to the surprise party for the barn manager who mi hermano chino <laughs> who is uh has not had a surprise party i don't think ever so we're back at the barn after a very successful opening and we're gonna get everything set up so that you can enjoy that and we'll see what Cass is up to this late at night we had to park up at the top of the hill this is normally where i ride Cass up where i rode him up today but we get to see all these little babies on our way. What'd you do? He's baby. He's raining. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh yeah. Right on the trail here? Yeah. Is this is part of the trail? Sure. You can take the boy out of the city. But you can't take the city out of the boy. No. Flatlander. Jersey, Flatlander. Flatlander. Did you just say <laughs> burn the whole fire down? Stormy's all wet. Oh, hey, 
buddy. Hi. Oh, sweet guy. Cass. Hi, buddy. Can you put your nose out? Yeah, good job. Good job, buddy. Oh, good boy. Whew, it's raining. With new things, you have to go really slow and make sure that... <laughs> and make sure that they are ready for it. I have no doubt that once he figures this out, he's going to stick his head out all day long, though. <laughs> yeah, no cheating. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Take a strawberry. You want to try it? You knocked it out of my hand, bud. <laughs> <laughs> 